Hi there. Hi. Oh, go ahead. Hi. What is this? This is Books with the Cooks. And I'm Kelly Cook, and this is our little cookie. Claire. Claire Bear. She always says Claire. She's been Claire Bear since like day one. We are coming to you from the balance beam area of Downward Ridge Gymnastics, uh, where we have uh, been cleaning and doing some maintenance while we're not able to teach kids, and Claire is here helping. Um, no other cookies. We sent Logan um, to the store, and Jack, of course, just like he was before, is helping some of the big guys with some. I think they're doing. I think they're, they're next door. They're next door in the ninja, ninja gym. Maybe building the spider wall, something like that. Um, anyways, today's book is a little bit longer, so get comfy, maybe grab a blanket, curl up with mom, sister, brother, I don't know, or just listen with us because we like to read. And this is Franklin Plays the Game. And there's lots of Franklin books. And what's Franklin, what game is he playing, Bear? Soccer. Soccer. Do we know anyone on our staff who plays soccer? Tori. Coach Tori and Coach Ricky. They both played soccer in college. They both still play. All right, let's get started. A little bit longer book, so I'll read a little bit faster. Franklin could slide down the riverbank. He could tie his shoes and count by twos. He could walk to Bear's house all by himself, but Franklin couldn't kick a soccer ball straight. That was a problem because Franklin wanted to be the best player on his team. Franklin loved soccer. He liked the running and the dribbling. He especially liked the uniforms. <laughs> It's like Logan's kind of kid, huh? Like his favorite thing is what he's gonna wear. That's awesome. She's our fashion girl, right? He especially liked the uniforms. He wore his purple and yellow jersey and matching shin pads, even when he wasn't playing soccer. Sometimes he slept with a soccer ball and dreamed of scoring goals. Am I getting the, are you guys, oh, they're getting it. Okay, I wanna make sure I had the angle right. We're like a two man show here. We've got this, uh, We've got the camera propped up on some pit foam or some floor foam and just angling at us. No fancy production crew here. Before every game, Franklin practiced in, his, in the park. He kicked the ball with the inside of his foot again and again. He did warm up stretches and cool down walks. He does warm up stretches like us. Still, Franklin had trouble. He couldn't run very fast, even without a soccer ball between his feet. And when Franklin kicked the ball, it never went anywhere he intended. Goose watched Franklin's ball fly into, I forgot to show the picture. Gotta remind me, Bear, Here's the picture. Awesome, all right. Goose watched Franklin's ball fly into the bushes. I'll never score a goal said Franklin sadly. Neither will I, said Goose. I keep forgetting the rule that says I cannot use my wings unless I'm the goalkeeper. <laughs> Everyone gets mad at me. Goose showed Franklin how wide her wings stretched. Beaver was watching too, and I'll never score a goal, she said, because my tail is so long and heavy that it drags me down. She ran for a bit, Franklin and Goose could see the problem. No wonder we win any game. We never win any games. Grumbled Franklin. It was true. Franklin's team had not won a game all season. Bears team won every game. Losing didn't bother Coach. She said the same thing before each game. Let's have fun out there. Hmm, I kind of like that kind of coach. That's my kind of coach. Losing didn't bother Franklin's parents who shouted, nice try, whenever Franklin got the ball, but it bothered Franklin a lot. What's wrong, asked Franklin's father. I never score a goal, answered Franklin, but you try and have, but you try and you have fun, said Franklin's father. That's the important thing. Franklin nodded. That's what all, that's what all grown ups say but he really wanted everyone to cheer for him. He wanted to score a goal. Good. It wasn't only Franklin who felt that way. Each of Franklin's friends wanted to score a goal, but the harder they tried, the worse they played. Franklin forgot where to stand. Goose forgot what to do. Whenever the ball came to Franklin's teammates, they rushed towards it. Players tripped over 
feet and tails and long ears, they crashed into a heap. Coach helped untangle the players. You have to work together as a team. You have to share the ball. That's kind of actually a funny picture, isn't it? That picture there. Just because they're all piled up. But it wasn't easy to do. Their team lost again. It made the players feel sad. Franklin huddled inside his shell. Beaver tucked in her tail and Goose folded her wings. The other teams crossed the field to shake hands. Nice try, said Bear. Franklin didn't come out of his shell. Bear bounced the soccer ball up and down. Come on, Franklin, said Bear. Franklin poked out his head. At that moment, Bear's ball was coming up. Franklin bounced the ball off the top of his head. It went flying straight to Goose. She spread her wings. Saved, Franklin shouted. Beaver was so excited that she flapped her tail up and down. That's it, cried Franklin. What's it, asked Bear. Franklin smiled at Beaver and Goose. I think I know how we can score goals, he said, patting his head, but it'll take some teamwork. Every day until the next game, Franklin and the team practiced in the park. Coach helped them work on a special play. They giggled and laughed and dribbled and bounced. They played in the rain and slid in the mud. One day, Bear came by. What are you doing, he asked. Just having fun, said Franklin. He could hardly wait until the next game. I have some Franklin books at home, do you? No? It was time for the final game. The teammates were huddled together. Let's show them what we can do, said Franklin. But within the first minutes of the game, Bear's team scored a goal. Team, said coach, it's time for your special play. Goose went into the goal. She used her wings as much as she wanted and made three spectacular saves. The crowd cheered. Goose spotted Franklin on the field and tossed the ball to him. It landed on Franklin's head. One strong bob and Franklin set the ball soaring to Beaver. With a swish of her tail, Beaver passed the ball to Rabbit. He lifted his big foot and kicked the ball into the net. Franklin's team scored. A little dramatic for you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you know, I was getting excited. I was into the game. The teammates jumped for joy and hugged one another. Um, elbow bumped. For the rest of the game, they played their best. Franklin even headed the ball twice, but no one on his team scored again. Bears team scored one more time to win the game. Coach gave all her players a ribbon. You should be proud of yourself, she said. You worked hard as a team. You all helped score that goal. Franklin's parents invited the team out for a treat. Why, asked Franklin, our team didn't win. You looked like winners to us, said his father. Franklin had to agree. They were tired and dirty and happy. A sure signs of a winning team. The end. Thanks for joining us. This is Books with the Cooks, and I'm Kelly Cook, and this is Claire, Claire Bear. <clears throat> she always says it like, she's not sure, like Claire. And this is Claire. <laughs> Try it again. Claire. This is, hold on. This is Books with the Cooks, and I am Kelly Cook, and this is Claire. <laughs> All right. See you tomorrow. Bye.